How's it going, Goobers? Today we're going to be playing Equilinox. It's a very chill, low-poly sandbox game that I'm quite fond of. So the goal of this game is to collect all these, uh, all these plants and and all these critters, and you do that by completing tasks and uh, selectively breeding and evolving. And so it's it's a good time. So we're going to choose our starting area here. I think we're going to start right on this peninsula right here. We're going to green this out. Add some tufts of grass. And speed things up a little bit. And now we've completed our first task. We've got the grass fully grown. And from that, we get a daisy. So we'll plant some daisies around here. And speed things up again. Let them grow. Now we've completed that. We've got three full-grown daisies. We'll claim that reward. And get an oak tree in here. Now the beautiful thing about this game is as you can see, I've got plants disappearing and reappearing all over the landscape. As they just grow, it's a constant ebb and flow. The water constantly ebbs and flows. You get a nice little hue of the biome, depending on what type of biome it is. And so that's the use of grass, is in order to create biomes, you have to use certain types of grass. So now we've got a tree, and... We have our first creature on the farm, or on the sandbox. We've got two little sheeps here. Look at their little, look at their little triangular, their tetra tetrahedral heads. Yeah, I know that word. I think I used it right. I hope that's the right shape. And uh, the, the great thing about animals is what they do is they give you what's called DP, which is your currency for the game and so we're gonna get probably one more sheep that's gonna complete this task of three satisfied sheep and it'll unlock a birch tree for us we'll get uh we'll get the two of them in there so this is where the game gets interesting we're going to evolve our first plant, which will be this graft's tuft. We're going to evolve it into wheat. So what we need is we need three stones nearby. We're going to get those bad boys. Put them around here. And we're going to start the evolution process. Now that it's done evolving, we shall take this wheat seed and we'll plop it right here in the middle of these three pieces of stone we'll plant a few more while we're at it and with that said and done we now have some wheat growing and we've now completed the wheat breeder task unlocking chickens and seaweed now that we've completed that task and unlocked seaweed, we're going to do my favorite part of this game and start making the river biome. Which is my favorite part of the game because it's the beginning of the fish. With that under the sea completed, we've now unlocked the trout. And I mean, just look at the little guys go. Now, we're going to add some chickens, but one important thing about the game is every animal has certain habitats. And one thing with the chicken is it dislikes trees, so we're not going to be able to put it over here with the sheep. And so, we're going to start making a new little area for them over here. 
perfect. Now that we have a nice little area over here for our chickens, we're gonna add the finishing touches, which of course is the chickens. Look at them. Look at the little triangles. Look at them. Look at them go. Ah, yes. Chickens, of course. And now that we have three chickens here, we have completed our next task, which gives us rocks, which will allow us to evolve our next species. And so this is where the next important part of the game, which is traits, comes into play. So in order to evolve seaweed into kelp, we need it to be a size trait of times 1.04 and have two large rocks near it. We have rocks and we can plant them whenever we want, but what we have to do is we have to find a piece of seaweed just like this one and we have to selectively breed it, increasing its size trait. And now that's going to selectively breed into 1.04 times sizes. We're going to do it to this one too. We're going to do it to a few of them here. Because we want to increase our chances of increasing kelp spawns. We're going to start evolving this kelp. Now unfortunately that kelp died. Which means we're going to have to find another one with the right stuff in order to start the evolution process again. So, we will add some rocks over here. We're going to have to wait a little bit. We'll add another rock. And we'll start the evolution process again. And now that we've finished it, we have acquired it. Kelp. Which helps spread the riverbed bile. And so the reason we need kelp is because we want to evolve trouts. And we want to evolve them into redfish. And in order to do that, we need two nearby kelp as well as a pink color trait. And so we need to wait now for one of them to go pink. And likewise, with our daisies, we want to turn into uh, tulips. We need them to gain a light blue color trait. We also need that for this quest right here. Now I'm going to add some mushrooms over here. That will allow us to start evolving mushrooms eventually. So in order to ch increase the chances of finding some colored variants, I'm going to try and expand this riverbed here a little bit. Okay, I have vastly improved the size of the river region. I've added a bunch of rocks in order to allow kelp to grow. And as a result, I'm sure you can see we have a ton of trout now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and see if we can't find any pink ones. I'm not seeing any pink ones off the bat, unfortunately. But you just got to keep looking. You never know when they're going to pop up. None right now. We'll have to check back later. So here's an example of a mutation goobers. Look at this color. We have a light green here. Whereas all the other kelps around here are a darker green. So I am going to selectively breed that. As that will help us in the future make our place look nicer. Well, with all the work we've put in, I believe that is where we will call the first episode quit, Scoobers. I thank you all for watching. And if you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe as it seriously helps out the channel. And I will see you all 
in the next episode. Peace out, Goobers.